100 meters, all set. And away they go from the 1400 meter marker. Chanticleer is right there shortly after the start. Cuda is well positioned. That's just in front. And on the outside, Most Noble. Jeddak has the white blinkers. Borough Boys a couple of lengths off them. Then comes Fair Catch. Bellado's in the yellow. That's towards the inside running rail. And Sir Trippy's getting a couple of reminders. Then perfectly stunning. And Misty Power is the trailer. They're really stretched out and they're keeping off that inside running rail. Chanticleer just the leader. Most Noble is second and Kuda is third. Jeddak has the white blinkers back in fourth. Then comes Borough Boy. They're followed by Fair Catch, who's racing about five lengths off the leader. Bellado's in the yellow, then perfectly stunning, and Sir Trippy continues to be ridden along. Misty Powers the trailer. Top of the stretch and Chanticleer the leader. Jeddak is with the white blinkers down the inside. Kuda. They are followed by Burrow Boy who is towards the outside. Chanticleer, Jeddak. Burrow Boy tries to run on. Down the inside is Kuda as they come to the last 300 metres. And it's still Chanticleer who goes. Jeddak's trying to put on the pressure and Burrow Boy is also running on. Chanticleer though is still holding on. And it's Chanticleer who's continuing to roll. And Chanticleer is going to win it. Chanticleer has got it one. Burrow Boy will be second. Third will go to Kuda, then Jeddak and Ballado. So victory for number three, Chanticleer, the gelding by DuPont. 16th time at the track. Patrick Lunn is the winning trainer, showing on the toad 17 round 30. Bred by Yellow Star Stud. And this one is victorious. As I say, it is the 16th time at the track. Took the lead shortly after the start wins it well. Second, number six, Burrow Boy. Third, number five, Kuda. Fourth, number seven, Jeddak. Further back is Ballada in the yellow. And they were followed by Sir Trippy. Then Misty Power. Fair catch is further in the run. They really stretched out. And then came number nine. That is perfectly stunning as we take a look at the head on. And Chanticleer continues to go and wins a good contest. Burrow Boy Jeddak towards the outside. Kudos towards the inside as they get inside the last 50 metres. And Chanticleer continues to roll. So that's the running of the third race until the running of race number four back to the studio. Number three, Chanticleer has come through for the Lunds, the Harties and Graham Hawkins to win a good contest at you. Horse who's always turned out well in the ring. Yeah, Sheldon's a beautiful looking horse. He's actually homebred. Um, yeah, I know he's had a lot of problems, a lot of feet, feet problems. Must say a big thanks to the farrier, Jared. Um, he's sorted him out and that's why he comes off his, off his, off his lengthy layoffs. But um, yeah, he's no star, wasn't the strongest field, but he got the job done. Nice to chalk up the victory for the connections. A lot of Lunds involved. Yeah, good luck to my brother. He's in Dubai at the moment working. Uh, this is his first win in his colours. Graham Hawkins is in Cape Town spending Christmas with his mother tomorrow. Good luck to him and to Shane in Marisburg. Good luck to him and to my dad who's out having supper somewhere. Well done. Thanks, Sheldon. Let's get Dr. Lambetti into the picture. Penultimate race, you sat aboard this fella? Yes, um, you know what? I said to Lloyd when, we, when I jumped on him in the 12 and that I said he's the 1400 middle horse mile. And you know what? Today he proved me right, and uh, you know what? Even though it was, it wasn't the strongest of fields, and uh, you know what? He came out on top. That's what matters. Coming to the 300, he looked like he was going to be difficult to get a hold of. Yes, I mean you know what? Um, we all have to work hard on horses when they, you know what? When it comes to that part, and uh, yeah, I'm just glad he gave me a kick today. Well done. Right, thank you. Well done to Dr. Limberti, Graham Hawkins, all the Lunds and all the winning connections. Number three, Chanticleer, the four-year-old son of DuPont, has broken the ice this evening.